one month until the baby's here. And really, technically, the baby could come at any time now, but hopefully it'll wait at least a couple more weeks. <laughs> Yesterday we had our very last birthing class for hypnobirthing and if you missed my past video uh, about hypnobirthing, <laughs> you should go back and watch that now because that is our birth plan to do a very natural labor. In this video I am going to talk about uh, embarrassing, funny TMI stories about pregnancy that I've had. Thank you to Amy Briggs who commented on one of my videos and requested this. Let's see. There are a lot of weird things with pregnancy. I would say for me, my weirdest pregnancy symptom is really just peeing whenever I sneeze. You know how you can tell you're going to sneeze? You know, you, you feel it coming. I know that I'm going to pee. Like, at least one little drop. <laughs> and so if I'm in public, like, you'll always see me, like, covering my legs and trying to sit down and trying to make it as least obvious as possible while making it the most obvious thing in the world. But something else that some people talk about but not really um, is the gassiness that you get when you're pregnant. Now this is going to be gross. It's not that I fart all the time, but I fart a lot more than I used to. <laughs> and that transfers into bowel movements as well. It's rare for me to just pee. I poop so often. I just poop all the time. And it's so weird. Oh, when was it? A couple weeks ago, Nate and I were at his parents' house, and, you know, so there was a bunch of family there. I think we were watching the jazz game. I was sitting on the couch, perfectly normal, watching the game, and all of a sudden, I felt it coming. I had to poop, and it was coming out whether I was going to be on the toilet or not. I darted to the bathroom, made it in time, did my business, came down, a minute or two later, Nate's sister and dad went upstairs for something and they came down and they were talking about how they thought the dog had pooped in one of the rooms because it stinks so badly. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that was me. I'm pregnant and can't help it. <laughs> There's definitely been moments like that. <laughs> the last weird symptom that I wanted to talk about was <laughs> how much I can eat. Don't let my slim figure fool you. I can normally eat pretty well, but lately I've been eating everything. Nate and I share meals typically if we go out because it's cheaper and we can, you know, we'll order like a main meal and an appetizer or something and we'll just share it together. But we, we ate so much. The first place we went to was Granny Annie's, and if any of you guys are in Utah, stop by Granny Annie's in Kaysville and get their scones because they are delicious. Nate had been there before and he wanted to take me because of how big their cinnamon rolls were. We order one tuna melt sandwich, a scone, which is about this big, and then a cinnamon roll, which, not joking at all, it was this big. The icing was overflowing onto the table and I pretty much downed it. We did have some of the cinnamon roll left. We took it home because it was huge and super sugary, but it was so good. Then later on this week, we stopped by Robintino's, which is where Nate's grandma works. So we stopped by to see her at work. We ordered the lasagna meal, which came with a soup and a salad. And then we also ordered an individual size pizza. Nate helps eat too, you know, we are splitting it, but it was pretty much all me. His grandma even stopped by several times to see if we were done or not, and I was still chowing down. What that tells me is that this baby is going to be strong and healthy. <laughs> oh, one more thing that I really wanted to tell you guys. Something really cool that Nate and I were freaking out over last night. I was in bed, and I had a bowl of applesauce straight from the refrigerator so the bowl itself was pretty cold and um, and you know it has pressure to it because it's in a bowl and it's filled with applesauce i wasn't fully sitting up but i wasn't fully laying down either it was kind of leaning against my leg in the bottom of my stomach as i was sitting there 
the baby started to kick the bowl. Ugh, I wish I took a video of it for you guys. It for real started moving the bowl up and down and Nate and I were completely freaking out. Like, this is crazy. Our child is so strong. <laughs> so I had to tell you guys that story before I forgot. Please let me know in the comments anything else that you guys want to hear me talk about or anything that you want to know about this pregnancy. And um, please check me out on social media as well so we can all stay connected.